How's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday afternoon, kind of early evening out here along the West Coast. October 25th, 2025 is the date, 4.47 p.m. local time here in California. Uh, jumping in here real quick with an update on a large earthquake around the Solomon Islands area. It looks like a 6.0 earthquake coming in in the last uh, 15 minutes or so. Part of an ongoing uptick of global seismic activity here today. Definitely been watching things light up here across the earthquake 3D globe. Uh, watch the West Coast. I mean, we're starting to get a little bit of movement earlier this morning, but uh, well, pay attention out here. Definitely pay attention. There's that six-pointer little cluster going on south here. I mean, there was two super deep earthquakes here earlier this morning. Got uh, 4.5 and a 5.1, just, just about 140 to 150 miles underneath this area. That adding further strain, it looks like upstream. This is a subduction zone, so the stress increasing up at the surface level uh, with this latest quake, a 6.0. You can see the subduction zone here, and most of the time the deeper activity will be off over in this region here where we've seen the two earthquakes this morning. Uh, of course, this area, no stranger to big earthquakes. Uh, there is no tsunami warning, watch, or advisory. There's a dipping fault right there. So I believe... Uh, I mean, that's the largest one today, I believe. Let's check, double check that and see. Uh, previous to that was a 6 or a 5.4 Southeast Indian Ridge. Uh, just a lot of uptick going on here. You know, it's, when you look at these maps all day long and 24-7, <laughs> you could see patterns out here when things are on the elevated side. And uh, definitely happening out here today. Uh, now with this earthquake, let's see, we got any quiet zones out there today? Looks like around Solomon Islands westward here up to about Papua New Guinea. Could fill this in. Of course, in the last couple of weeks, we've seen a lot of activity stirring up here. So I'm not for certain if we'll see uh, any larger movement within this area. But uh, just be on guard. There's that super deep earthquake from this morning of 5.2 on the backside of Japan. It's actually underneath Russia here. Pretty crazy deep earthquake. Waiting for some larger movement out here across the Nankai Trough or somewhere out here in this area. Uh, that's way deep. That's a super deep earthquake there. Barely shows up on the globe. Quick glance here at the California activity real quick. See if, they, see if we've got anything else stirring up today. A um, bunch of movement out in Nevada this morning. I don't see anything else above 2.5 out here. Uh, just a couple smaller earthquakes around San Diego and around the San Andreas Fault. But as always, just be on guard. Have a plan. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening. Uh, and whenever it comes to 6.0 earthquakes across the globe, that's something I normally do. I'll do a quick update on it. Not a full update, you know, and everything with the weather and space weather, but I always try to cover any earthquakes above 6.0 globally. Or, say, for example, if it's a four-pointer in New York or a four-pointer in Denver, somewhere that, you know, just doesn't normally get earthquake activity like that, then we'll jump on and cover uh, the activity. But for now, have a good one. We'll see you guys out here a little bit later on for the uh, Saturday night update.